Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Yesterday we got a new patch with lots of cool stuff on it. The McCree buffs, the Diva nerfs, the lot. In this video, however, we're highlighting some lesser known buffs that came to Sombra that are actually quite impactful, especially to the person that ended up sort of testing him out and finding this, Fitzy. The reason they are lesser known is because they appeared in the bug fixes section of the patch notes and some of these changes aren't even in those patch notes too. So let's go over what they are and why they're so impactful for a hero like Sombra. Fitzy here was one of the first people to point out these changes and like he said to me, whilst they are down as bug fixes, they are most definitely buffs. The changes came into two parts of Sombra's kit, her hack and translocator. We'll start with the translocator as that's probably the more major one that's been added into this list and it's more that it's become more consistent with its cleanse effect. There are lots of different effects in the game, such as anti-healed, on fire, frozen, with the discord orb on you, all could affect how much damage you take and stuff. And Sombra's translocator when she used it would cleanse some of those effects from her, but not all of them. So Blizzard have basically made this much more consistent with these more recent changes. The latest two that were added according to Fitzy here was the anti-heal, which is seen on screen, and a friend down the anti-heal. Sombra when she uses a translocator has that effect cleared from her, before that wasn't the case. And also Maze Slow, which you can see as you're about to get frozen, you translocate, you are right as rain. But I figured now was a good time to go through all of the other effects that Sombra's Translocator cleanses now. We mentioned Anna with the anti-heal. The other one is the tick damage that Anna does with her gun. Most of us know that Anna's primary fire has a damage over time effect, doing about 70 damage. That's the full amount that you've seen on screen. However, if you translocate whilst you're taking that damage, you take a lot less. I took 165 when I translocated this time. So even a small effect like this, the Translocator has a strong cleanse to it. Now let's go on to Ash. Of course, her dynamite ability does damage over time with the fire effect. And again, if you translocate, that fire effect is cleansed from you completely. We mentioned Mei with the slow, but Torbjorn is also another hero that has a fire effect alongside Ash with the ultimate. Yet again, you see it on screen. Once you translocate, you no longer take damage over time. This next one isn't really an effect, but it's still important to highlight. Tracer's Pulse Bomb. When she sticks you and you translocate, you are cleansed from that effect. The Pulse Bomb is removed from you and blows up where you were. Widowmaker also has a damage over time with her Venom Mine. Yet again, you translocate, you get rid of that effect. And finally, Zenyatta Discord. When it's on you, when you translocate, that effect is removed. So all of these now work. It used to be before that the May Freeze, I believe, and Anna's Anti-Heal wouldn't be cleared when you translocated before. So Fitzy really wanted to highlight how this is so impactful. The fact that you remove some of these major effects from you is a great way to quickly clear off some of these stuff like Anti-Heal when you have an EMP in a situation. Fitzy is a respectable Sombra player, so the fact that he really wanted to highlight this, I think is worth highlighting in itself, you know. Whilst it doesn't look that strong, on paper these changes they are important and they make a very strong hero much stronger but that's not all the other change came in with the hack fixed a bug that allowed roadhog's hook to function when he was hacked by sombra and we did a few tests on this too when roadhog is hooking the sombra it's fairly inconsistent with how it works in some cases you are able to get the hack in time to stop the hook from pulling you but in other cases it's still not fast enough and you get interrupted. So it really is a case by case, more inconsistent basis. However, when it comes to Roadhog hooking somebody else, it's a lot more in your favor. You can get the hacking just in time to be able to stop them getting stunned and to stop them getting pulled towards the Roadhog. And of course, make Sombra a lot more stronger and depressive in those situations. Like I said, these changes don't look like much. They were put down as bug fixes, but they make a fairly oppressive hero a lot stronger against multiple people. And it becomes a lot harder to really shut her down. But there was another change in these bug fixes that I really wanted to highlight as being a nerf to Brigitte. Enemy barriers now block line of sight for Brigitte's rally. You're seeing this on screen with the Reinhardt, the enemy Reinhardt stood in the way. The tracer behind the shield isn't being affected by Brigitte's rally. As soon as you poke your head in front of it, it starts to work. But as you see it on screen, otherwise it doesn't work. This is one of those changes that I swore was in the game up until now, but nevertheless, a pretty significant nerf to Brigitte's ultimate, which is already pretty strong. Not to mention it was the whole thing about Brigitte's rally armor being 
much stronger than normal armor with the amount of damage that it reduces. This was fixed when the recent patch went through yesterday. So both of these changes just makes Brigitte a lot weaker. I kind of want to top Brigitte some other time really because she is just the most problematic hero for Blizzard at the moment, especially if they're looking to add in a 2-2-2 roll lock. It means that Brigitte will just not be played. She's not strong enough to be in a 2-2-2 lineup. She needs a rework, like a significant one to make her at least decent but not obnoxiously strong. But this gives heroes like Reinhardt Winston and Orisa more counterplay. Winston especially, you could just put a shield on top of an Ulti Brigitte to stop her teammates getting that rally armor, which I think is pretty impactful. And rally is a really strong ultimate. You've even seen some pros mention how they're more scared of rally than they are of something like Sound Barrier or Transcendence just because of how much tankier it makes the enemy team. Before we finish, I wanted to get back onto the subject of Sombra, as a lot of stuff has happened with this hero that is quite alarming, to be honest. There's two things that I really wanted to pick up on and really highlight. The first of which is a video that we did with Fitzy three months ago talking about Sombra changes way back when. Yet again, the changes on the PTR around that time were very small in comparison. I believe it was reduced cooldown of hack when you hack health packs. I'm pretty sure that's all it was, but Sombra, much like Doomfist in the past is slowly going up in pick rate and she's slowly been buffed. It's more of a glacial pace kind of thing, but Sombra's becoming more meta to the point where Fitty said three months ago he's expecting nerfs very soon to her, which of course haven't happened just yet. Listen to what he said here. I think it's really important to highlight. I've been buffing her and like, you know, again, we're getting we're getting a health pack buff. And it's like, what well, does she really need it? And I think this is more of a preparation for what's to come of okay we're gonna buff her and then we're gonna nerf her elsewhere to answer your question yeah i think that the dominant composition of goats gets more and more nerfed you're gonna see that sombra is just really good and i'm not just saying that as a biased sombra player because i do play sombra all the time um i think she just you know they, her her weaknesses can be avoided and the weaknesses being the burst damage you know you can stay away from the mccree who's gonna flashbang you um, the Sombra themselves can't really contest the McCree, but she can run around, like she's not going to get completely shut down by a McCree. This is made even more alarming in the Overwatch League with Sombra's pick rate absolutely skyrocketing at a very quick pace. It's gone from like 5 to 6% to around 33% pick rate as you're seeing. The change is going up by 10% week on week. And we've seen what teams like Houston Outlaws, who were awful at playing GOATs in previous stages, now rocking off with the Sombra GOATs and making a lot of work with it. But don't panic. For us in competitive, Sombra's pick rate is still fairly okay. And her win rate is one of the worst in the game. So she's not becoming incredibly strong in competitive ladder at least. And here's another thing that I wanted to highlight that came out of Custer where he's describing why Sombra's been picked so much in the pro scene and why it doesn't really apply to us in competitive. All right, so I'll give my first lead. I, I think Sombra Goats is a good comp because the EMP is super oppressive of like classic goats meta is ult um the ult cycle is really important and the way you use your ults is very like linear once everyone got it down and like makes a lot of sense people teams have very like little wriggle room to move around with that um but what EMP does is it sort of throws a wrench on everything because you need to trance or beat to counter the EMP Speed is not that good because it doesn't really solve the problem and people have got so good at countering like you EMP and you just kill one target like the Ryan before, so the trance isn't effective anymore so people are getting so good at that that it's really throwing goats off like you saw shock like really struggled with it like they'll say they'll play bad but I think it's also like really good and you've seen a lot of teams utilizing it really well so basically it has a lot to do with goats being run where goats has been run sombra is going to be played in order to break that down when you don't play goats in competitive sombra doesn't get played much at all so i think it's one of those cases where we shouldn't be panicking in competitive ladder at least but i am kind of worried at the state of sombra she is starting to climb and people are starting to make more notice of how strong she can be with all of the other heroes in the pro scene, Diva, Reinhardt, Zenyatta, Zarya, Brigitte, Lucio, all going down in pick rate, Sombra's going up by a huge margin. But that is everything that I wanted to go over today, a pretty significant changes that we at Overwatch Central wanted to highlight. In this video, we've also used a little bit of gameplay from the Overwatch League replay system, and we can't wait to be making some Omen by HP videos with it. We try and make a lot of pro sort of analysis. I think 
This month we're going to be looking at May potentially in the pro scene, how she's been effective and used. And I really can't wait to use the pro replay system in order to sort of look at this and really highlight some of the cool stuff that we do with Omen by HP, who are of course the PC providers of the Overwatch League and proud sponsors. But that's everything that I've wanted to go over today. My name has been Ryan Central. Take care and I'll see you next time.